so after watching this video you will be able to understand what is been by the conductometric titration and the first conductometric titration strong acid versus strong base and second conductometric titration weak acid versus strong base their titration curve reaction calculation and procedure part we you will be understand after attending this lecture so let us begin with our topic conductometric titration what is exactly mean by the conductometric titration conductivity means what conductivity it is an ability of the solution to pass the current right is known as the conductivity conductivity means it is an ability of the solution to pass the current is known as the conductivity then conductometry it is an electroanalytical techniques right and it can measure the electrical conductance of the solution as a function of what concentration now you, we will see exactly conductometric titration basically in the conductometric titration the electrical conductance yes please mute the electrical conductance is depends upon number and mobility of all ions in the solution right in conductometric titration the electrical conductance is depends upon what number and mobility of the all ions in the solution the definition of the conductometric titration is what this titration in which the end point of titration is uh, determined or it can be measured from the what conductance of the titration mixture is known as conductometric titration now the first conductometric titration involved in our syllabus that is strong acid versus strong base which is the strong acid hydrochloric acid is the strong acid titrated against with what strong base which one naoh that is sodium hydroxide in this titration the strong acid versus strong base naoh naoh is fill up into what burette right you remember this one the naoh sodium hydroxide is fill up into the burette and the acid is taken into the beaker and then conductivity cell is inserted and from that you can find out the conductance of the solution see here is the reaction part is involved hcl plus naoh right hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide right so it is converted into what nacl plus h2o right now during this reaction what happen consider the titration of what your strong acid hydrochloric acid against strong base naoh which is added from the burette when the base is added then what happen this h plus ion right from the hcl h plus plus and cl minus so this h plus ion which is replaced by what your na plus ion sodium ion right so what happen the faster moving h plus ion cation which are replaced by slower moving na plus ion and due to this conductivity goes on decrease up to the equivalence point of the titration and after the equivalence point of the titration it also increase why due to addition of what your na plus and oh minus ion right so the calculation part is very simple 1 ml 1 normal naoh which is equal to 36.5 mg of hydrochloric acid so this 36.5 mg is the equivalent weight or molecular weight of what hydrochloric acid 36.5 is the molecular weight of the hydrochloric acid so formula to calculate the strength of hydrochloric acid is 1 ml 1 normal naoh which is equal to 36.5 mg of hcl now plot the graph graph is what your conductance versus volume of naoh added means volume of base added so you can get such v type of the shape so this is what your a point this is b point and this is what C point. So what is AB? AB represent what? AB indicate that the conductance of mixture AB equal to conductance of a mixture decreasing what HCl concentration and increasing NaCl concentration. This is called as what AB. So this point A to B is known as what AB. So AB indicate that conductance of a mixture 
decreasing hydrochloric acid concentration and increasing nacl right then second point is what your this is b and this is c right what is bc bc indicate that it is the only conductance of what your nacl right and third is what only b that is indicate that what e right means end point of the titration so b is indicate that neither h plus nor oh minus it is the end point of the titration right you remember this one this is what your strong acid versus strong base titration hydrochloric acid versus sodium hydroxide now i will again repeat the point in today's lecture we will see conductometric titration what is exactly mean by the conductometric titration see conductance means what it is an ability of the solution to pass the current is known as what conductance right now conductometric titration the electrical conductance which is depends upon what number and the mobility of the ions in the solution right see the definition is very simple in this titration end point of the titration can be determined by the measurement of what electrical conductance of the titration mixture is known as what conductometric titration now let us see the first conductometric titration that is what your strong acid which is the strong acid hydrochloric acid is the strong acid which one hcl hcl is the strong acid right then second one is strong base which is the strong base here is what naoh sodium hydroxide is the strong base in this titration the strong acid versus strong base naoh naoh is fill up in what burette right and the acid in what your beaker and then the conductivity cell is dip okay then what happen the reaction part is very simple hcl plus naoh which is converted into what nacl plus h2o hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide so hcl is completely neutralized it form nacl plus h2o right now during this reaction what happen suppose consider the titration of strong acid hydrochloric acid versus strong base naoh added from the burette when the base is added then what happen this h plus ion which one this h plus ion from hcl this h plus ion which is replaced by what your na plus ion from the what sodium hydroxide so this h plus ion is the faster moving ion you remember this one h plus ion is the faster moving ion and this uh, na plus ion is the slower moving ion so during this titration the faster moving h plus cation are replaced by slower moving na plus anion uh, sorry cation due to this conductivity goes on decrease up to the equivalence point of the titration right so see the plot is what a to b here is what conductivity is slowly decrease up to the equivalence point of titration and after the equivalence point of titration it again goes on increasing why due to this reason the faster moving h plus cation replaced by slower moving na plus due to this conductivity goes on decrease up to the end point of the titration and after that after the end point means after the e point the conductivity again goes on increase see here is what the conductivity goes on increase you can observe this why this conductivity goes on increase due to addition of na plus and oh minus ion that's why the conductivity goes on increase after the end point of the titration so plot the graph graph is what conductance versus ml of naoh added right that is the base right so this is your titration curve so you can get what this v shape of the curve right in this v shape of the curve this is what ab a this is b and this is what c so what is ab ab is represented that it is what conductance of a mixture conductance only Uh, decreasing what hcl concentration this hcl concentration is decrease and ns N, nsl concentration is increase this is called as what ab then bc bc is what it is the conductance of only nsl sodium chloride right and this b is what this is neither h plus nor oh minus 
this b is known as what end point of the titration and from the end point of titration we can easily calculate the strength of acid the strength of acid is calculated by using formula what 1 ml 1 normal NaOH which is equal to 36.5 mg of hydrochloric acid so is that clear first conductometric titration strong acid versus strong base any difficulty in the tit first titration yes no sir no sir all of you no, understood sir. understood the concept of strong acid versus strong base yes yes sir uh, yes. see yes uh, the important mcq uh, will be asked in the this uh, topic is uh, the conductometric titration right the electrical conductance is depends upon dash dash so the answer is the electrical conductance depends upon number and mobility of the ions you remember this is the first uh, mcq then they will put the different types of the graph in option form and you have to identify which is the correct graph for what strong acid versus strong base strong acid is what hcl and strong base is what noh so you can get what uh, v shape of the curve initially conductance is very high then conductance goes on decrease and again conductance goes on increase so you have to remember the perfect titration curve of what you are strong acid versus strong base okay this type of mcq will be asked now we will 